question. How does something grow? Sunlight, rain, and rainbows. There's ways to make things grow. There's a saying, give a person a fish and you can feed them for a day. Give them a, teach a person how to fish and you can feed them for a lifetime. How does this apply besides being a fisherman? Does it apply to other things? Well, Jesus talked to some fishermen. He said, come follow me. In Matthew chapter 4, verse 19, and I will make you fishers of men. Our Lord taught them to save souls, gave them skills to reach people, to change lives, to catch people from the throes of death and hell and eternal punishment and to bring them up to the glories of heaven. He has spent his ministry preparing his disciples to teach. That was what he did. That was his main focus. Matthew chapter 5, 11 verse 1 through 5 says, that's what he did. He prepared them. And in his last words, after he was crucified, after he was flogged, after he was betrayed, after he got the betrayer kissed by Judas Iscariot, after they mocked and beat and killed him, on the third day he rose again and he appeared to his disciples. He appeared to his apostles and he said unto them, Matthew chapter 20, verse 18 to 20, Go into all the world and preach the gospel, teaching them all that I command you. What did he just command them? Preach the gospel. Teaching them everything I have taught you. So if we're going to be his disciples and we're to follow Jesus, and Jesus told his disciples and apostles to teach this, to teach teaching to teach correction to teach people to go to heaven to teach people the judgments of the bible should we not do that to bring them up rule of evangelism doesn't just mean facebook posts although that's fine and dandy it doesn't just mean funding preachers although that is important it doesn't just mean doing this and that that is popular wearing a hunk if you love jesus or having you know a cross on your shirt those are nice things. But truly preaching the gospel is preaching the gospel. It's you. It's you against the world. It's you against Satan. It's you against those trying to say no. There's other things more important. No, this is the most important thing in the world. It will separate us from eternity. It is what will make those who are destined to a meaningless, empty life to have a fulfilled life and find eternity. Millions and billions of years in pain in a place of darkness or in a place of joy and light is between you and God and the decisions you make. It's not up to the preacher, though he should do it. It's not up to the elders, though they should lead such endeavors. It is up to you. In 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 2, it says, Teach a reliable man who can teach also. So once you teach, these people need to be taught how to teach. Once those people, once you save, they need to be taught how to save. Once a church has people saved, they need to teach those new saved people that they must save. It is not a suggestion. It's not a buffet. You pick and choose what you want to do. You got to do this. It is a command like any other command that must be followed. It's not a suggestion or a request. It is something that is essential. How do we grow the kingdom? How does the kingdom grow? What do we need to do in replication besides grounding people and saying that it is a must to save people from themselves, from hell, from damnation, to find eternity? How else do we help the church grow? It must be done. There's only 100,000 plus people in the Lord's kingdom in this American continent and it's diminishing because people don't think this is important. They don't try to learn. They, they think we'll have a gospel meeting once a year and we'll pass those flyers one day and that, that's enough. That's not going to work. You've got to have extreme measures to get extreme results. That means dedication, getting the members behind it, getting people behind it and making it count. If you're bold enough to ask a girl out, if you're bold enough to share Jesus Christ, if you're afraid of bugging her, you never know until they give it a chance when it comes to love. And you never know if they are truly seeking the truth unless we give that person a chance. They may be looking for answers. 
It's up to you to do it as ambassadors of the gospel of Christ. And we all are. Jesus, as he was walking amongst the fields, he said this in Luke chapter 10, verse 2. The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest to send out workers into the harvest field. How do we have opportunities to go forth? I keep hearing people pray, Lord, send us opportunities. You make your opportunities. Let people be saved to hear people pray. You are the answer to prayers. What did Jesus say? In Joshua 4, verse 35, 34, it says that Jesus, the church, all these things are connected. The prayers are answered for you. Jude 22, it says this, snatch others from the fire, hating even the clothing stained by corrupted flesh. You know people are going to hell. Your neighbors, your friends, relatives, your brothers, your sisters. People you interact with your co-workers and you do nothing. You know somebody's going to get shot and you stand around. If you know somebody's going to get hit by a train and you twiddle your thumbs, that's callous. But they're going to just die for a second. If you're not going to help them, save them from eternal death. And they die again and again and again. And if you're going to try to help them find life, true life, fulfilling that hole, that Texas hole of emptiness inside of them, if you're going to stand around, now that they get to that eternal beach shore of, of destiny, of eternity, of that abode with God, if you've got better things to do, Netflix, YouTube, going to the mall, getting shoes, holding a girl's hand or a boy's hand, or whatever you guys do, that's... It's good to do those things, but there's more important things, and that is it, helping people help themselves. Evangelism is a must if the church is going to grow and stop dying out, and it's up to you. You are the destiny deciders of this world. You are the wind drops that can cause a torrent of rain. It just takes a little bit to cause an elemental change in all things, and it is up to you to make this happen.